Okay, this is a demonstration of a tarot card reading. I'm going to do the classic Celtic cross spread. The first card that I draw from the deck after it's shuffled will represent the querent or questioner. That would be the person who's asking the question or looking for a reading. Then I will lay down a total of 10 cards and I'll go through each one of them and briefly explain their meanings. I won't do a full reading. I would go to an in-depth reading otherwise. But let's get started. first card drawn, which represents you, is the Page of Coins, or Page of Pentacles. The card that covers the Page of Pentacles is typically the card that represents current situations, concerns, um, things that are, and events that are happening around you. And that is the Two of Wands. The next card is called the Foundation. And it's a past foundation, so it represents all the things in your life that have made you who you are. All the events, um, the things that have influenced you, family, friend, places you've been. This is just a general overall reading card of your past. <clears throat> and that is the chariot card. This card is a recent past, usually within the last year, sometimes maybe even within the last six weeks, and this represents influences that have happened, that have brought you to the point you're at. Oftentimes this is the card that concerns the question you have, and that is a Three of Pentacles. This is current events. This card means things that are happening right at the moment, things that are changing for you or have continued in the same direction and you're looking for what will happen next. That is the Ace of Swords. This card represents the near future, things that are probably going to happen. This is all very changeable because once you have an idea of where your path is headed, you can make decisions. So this is never set in stone. And this is the Fool. The next card represents you, how you see yourself, how you feel others, family and friends, close associates or people you work with, feel about you. It isn't necessarily how others see you, it is how you feel emotionally, physically, and it's very personal about yourself. This card is the Hierophant. The next card drawn represents your family and friends and close associates and really represents how they see you, how they visualize you because of your interactions uh, in the workplace, at home, at school, uh, people that are associated with you. And that is the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> it uh, should be noted that anytime there's more than two cards in a suit, it may have some significant meaning. And at this time you have two sword cards. This card is your hopes, challenges, the direction that you're going right now. This is a path that you're on. And sometimes it's a good card and it might represent uh, things to look forward to, an event, uh, travel, that sort of thing. Or it could be a card that is a warning or some kind of an event that you have to overcome could be a lesson learned. And that is a Nine of Wands. And this final card is called a Completion Card. After reading all the cards as they sit together and what they mean in association with each other, 
you follow this general line and this completion card is what will happen if you travel on your current path. Now if you make any changes this could change but for the moment this is considered the completion card. And this is the Knight of Swords. Okay, there are three swords out here, which indicates somebody who is a very strong personality. Somebody who might even be overbearing, but is also um, a scholar. Typically somebody who is somewhat introverted. And this card here that represents you, which is a page of pentacles, is basically an enterprising person. Somebody who looks for new opportunities and will take advantage of them. It's a person who um, reflects a lot on themselves. Okay, I'm going to stop here at this example just so that you could see how these cards are laid and played. Normally I would go into very in-depth detail on this and uh, we would discuss an outcome along with things that happen along the way.